The Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation, later Grumman Aerospace Corporation, was a leading 20th century U.S. producer of military and civilian aircraft. Founded on December 6, 1929, by Leroy Grumman and Partners, it merged in 1994 with Northrop Corporation to form Northrop Grumman. History Leroy Grumman and others worked for the Loaning Aircraft Engineering Corporation in the 1920s, but when it was bought by Keystone Aircraft Corporation and the operations moved from New York City to Bristol, Pennsylvania, Grumman and his partners Edmund Ward Poor, William Schwendler, Jake Swerble, and Clint Toll started their own company in an old Cox Clement Aircraft Co. factory in Baldwin on Long Island, New York. All of the early Grumman employees were former loaning employees. The company was named after Grumman because he was its largest investor. The company filed as a business on December 5, 1929, and opened its doors on January 2, 1930. Keeping busy by welding aluminum tubing for truck frames, the company eagerly pursued contracts with the U.S. Navy. Grumman designed the first practical floats with a retractable landing gear for the Navy, and this launched Grumman into the aviation market. The first Grumman aircraft was also for the Navy, the Grumman FF-1, a biplane with retractable landing gear. This was followed by a number of other successful designs. During World War II, Grumman became known for its CATS Navy fighter aircraft, F-4F Wildcat and F-6F Hellcat, and the less well-known Grumman F-7F Tigercat and Grumman F-8F Bearcat neither of which saw combat during World War II, and for its torpedo bomber TBF Avenger. Grumman ranked 22nd among United States corporations in the value of wartime production contracts. Grumman's first jet aircraft was the F-9F Panther. It was followed by the upgraded F-9F, F-9 Cougar, and the less well-known F-11 Tiger in the 1950s. The company's big post-war successes came in the 1960s with the A-6 Intruder and E-2 Hawkeye and in the 1970s with the Grumman EA-6B Prowler and F-14 Tomcat. Grumman products were prominent in the films The Final Countdown, Top Gun and numerous World War II Naval and Marine Corps aviation films. The U.S. Navy still employs the Hawkeye as part of carrier air wings on board aircraft carriers, while the U.S. Marine Corps, the last branch of service to fly the Prowler retired it on March 8, 2019. Grumman was the chief contractor on the Apollo lunar module that landed men on the moon. The firm received the contract on November 7, 1962, and built 13 lunar modules. As the Apollo program neared its end, Grumman was one of the main competitors for the contract to design and build the Space Shuttle, but lost to Rockwell International. The company ended up involved in the shuttle program nonetheless, as a subcontractor to Rockwell, providing the wings and vertical stabilizer sections. In 1969, the company changed its name to Grumman Aerospace Corporation, and in 1978, it sold the Grumman American division to Gulfstream Aerospace. The company built the Grumman Long Life Vehicle, LLV, a light transport mail truck designed for and used by the United States Postal Service. The LLV entered service in 1986. Grumman was responsible for a successful line of business aircraft, including the Gulfstream 1 turboprop, Grumman Model G159, and Gulfstream 2 business jet, Grumman Model G1159, which were operated by a number of companies and private individuals as well as by government agencies, including various military entities and NASA. In addition, the Gulfstream 1 propjet was operated by several commuter, regional airlines in scheduled passenger services and included a stretched version, being the Gulfstream 1C Grumman model G159C, which could transport 37 passengers. Gulfstream business jets continue to be currently manufactured by Gulfstream Aerospace which is a wholly owned subsidiary of General Dynamics. <laughs> Long Island location. For much of the Cold War period, Grumman was the largest corporate employer on Long Island. Grumman's products were considered so reliable and ruggedly built that the company was often referred to as the Grumman Iron Works. As the company grew, it moved to Valley Stream, New York, then Farmingdale, New York, finally to Bethpage, New York, with the testing and final assembly at the 6,000-acre Naval Weapons Station in Caverton, New York, all located on Long Island. 
At its peak in 1986 it employed 23,000 people on Long Island and occupied 6 million square feet square meters in structures on 105 acres .42 square kilometers it leased from the U.S. Navy in Bethpage. The end of the Cold War at the beginning of the 1990s reduced defense spending and led to a wave of mergers as aerospace companies shrank in number. In 1994 Northrop bought Grumman for $2.1 billion to form Northrop Grumman, after Northrop topped a $1.9 billion offer from Martin Marietta, the new company closed almost all of its facilities on Long Island and converted the Bethpage plant to a residential and office complex, with its headquarters becoming the corporate headquarters for Cablevision and the Caverton plant being turned into a business, industrial complex. Former aircraft hangars have become Grumman Studios, a film and television production center. A portion of the airport property has been used for the Grumman Memorial Park. Northrop Grumman's remaining business at the Bethpage campus is the Battle Management and Engagement Systems Division", which employs around 2,000 people. Products Aircraft The CATS Grumman F-4F Wildcat Grumman F6F Hellcat Grumman F7F Tigercat Grumman F8F Bearcat Grumman F9F Panther Grumman F9F F9 Cougar Grumman XF10F Jaguar Grumman F11 Tiger Grumman F11F1F Super Tiger Grumman F14 Tomcat Other fighter aircraft Grumman FF1 Grumman F2F Grumman F3F Grumman XF5F Skyrocket Grumman XP50 General Dynamics Grumman F111B Grumman G17 Project Only Grumman G25 Project Only Grumman G29 Project Only Grumman G30 Project Only Grumman G35 Project Only Grumman G49 Project Only Grumman G57 Project Only Grumman G62 Project Only Grumman G68 Project Only Grumman G71 Project Only Grumman G84 Project Only Grumman G86 Project Only Grumman G92 Project Only Grumman G97 Project Only Grumman G107 Project Only Grumman G110 Project Only Grumman G113 Project Only Grumman G118 Project Only Grumman G119 Project Only Amphibious Grumman G3 Project Only Grumman G4 Project Only Grumman G27 Project Only Grumman G48 Project Only Grumman G108 Project Only Grumman G122 Project Only Columbia XJL Grumman JF Duck Grumman J2F Duck Grumman G21 Goose Some modified as Super or Turbo Goose Grumman G44 Widgeon Grumman G73 Mallard Grumman Hu-16 Albatross Coast Guard UF-1, UF-2, Navy U-16, Civilian G-111 Grumman G65 Tadpole Attack Grumman A6 Intruder Bomber Grumman XSBF Grumman TBF Avenger Grumman XTB2F Grumman XTSF Grumman G76 Project Only Grumman G85 Project Only Electronic Warfare Aircraft Grumman EA6B Prowler General Dynamics Grumman EF111A Raven Other Aircraft Grumman AF Guardian Grumman C-1 Trader Grumman E-1 Tracer Grumman S-2 Tracker Grumman E-2 Hawkeye Grumman C-2 Greyhound Grumman OV-1 Mohawk Grumman X-29 Grumman 674 Nutcracker Tilting Fuselage VTOL Grumman 698 VTOL Grumman G-77 Swept Back Wing Research Aircraft Project 
Grumman G-78 towed target glider project Grumman G-91 project only Grumman G-114 Grumman G-115 Grumman G-124 jet trainer design Grumman G-127 Civilian Grumman Gulfstream 1 Grumman Gulfstream 2 Grumman American AA-1 1971-76 Grumman American AA-1B Trainer 1971-76 Grumman American AA-5 Traveler 1972-75 Grumman American AA-5A Cheetah 1976-79 Grumman American AA-5B Tiger 1975-79 Grumman American Cougar Grumman Ag Cat Grumman Kitten Grumman G116 project only Topic Spacecraft Space Apollo Lunar Module Grumman 619 Space Shuttle Topic Other products Grumman Olsen built aluminum truck bodies, known as Stepvans. Under the Grumman Olsen brand it made the P-600 and P-6800 step vans for UPS. Grumman manufactured fire engines under the name Firecat and aerial tower trucks under the Aerialcat name. The company entered the fire apparatus business in 1976 with its purchase of Howe Fire Apparatus and ended operations in 1992. Grumman canoes were developed in 1944 as World War II was winding down. Company executive William Hoffman used the company's aircraft aluminum to replace the traditional wood design. The canoes had a reputation for being sturdier, lighter and stronger than their wood counterparts and had a considerable market share. Grumman moved its boat-making division to Marathon, New York in 1952. Outboard Marine Corp. bought the division in 1990 and produced the last Grumman brand canoe in 1996. Shortly thereafter former Grumman executives formed the Marathon Boat Group to produce the canoes. In 2000 the group worked out an agreement with Northrop Grumman to sell the canoes using Grumman name and logo. The Grumman canoes with its logo are used in the film Deliverance, Grumman Sport Boat. Grumman Flexible 870 Transit Buses 1978 to 1982. Ben Franklin, PX-15, a signed submarine. Grumman LLV Postal Vehicle widely used by the United States Postal Service and Canada Post. In 1984 Grumman leased the first superconducting MRI in Manhattan to East River Medical Imaging then known as SK Magnetic Resonance Imaging, P. C. 